What's going on, guys? Michael with MMA Island. We're bringing you guys the fight picks. I'm here with Zach. Uh, we're going to be talking about Omari Akhmedov taking on Chris Weidman. Um, interesting, interesting fight. Talking about Chris Weidman, obviously we saw his loss against uh, Dominic Reyes. He went up a division and kind of said, eh, maybe I should go back down. So he went back down, in the for and he's fighting the former welterweight Omari Akhmedov. Um who has had a weird career, I guess you could say, because this dude is, is, is decisions, uh, a lot, a lot of decisions, but from what we've seen from Akhmedov, even being knocked out twice, um, he's got a chin, man. Uh, he's got a very, very good chin as we saw in our, in, in his, his last few fights and looking at Chris Weidman, his last five losses are all by knockout. Um, three of them, he was knocked out cold. So, and five of his last six fights come lot by loss by knockout. Um, he had the submission win over Calvin Gastelum. Um, obviously, we saw Calvin Gastelum get submitted recently. I'm not saying that adds to anything, but I really just want to see how this fight goes because it's really, really interesting having Omari Akhmedov be a guy who can take a hit, can land a hit. And Chris Wyman, we've seen take a hit and land a hit as well, but not so much take a hit in the recent years. Um, being 36, he is getting up there in age. I kind of feel this is a little bit of a bad matchup for, uh, for, um, uh, Weidman in this one. Uh, Akhmedov is, is kind of well-rounded. He does have two KO losses, two KO or two submission losses as well. Those submission losses are coming early on in his career. And one of them against one of the, one of the greats of submission and Gunnar Nelson. And it was by guillotine as well, which as we know, a guillotine with him getting past the point here. Um, just talking about the fight in general, I, 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 think it, I think it's close. I think you could say it's close just because this is a step down in competition from the guys that uh, uh, Wyman has lost to. Jacques Ray Souza, Zach will appreciate me saying, one of the greats. And Dominic yes. Reyes is one of the, I guess you could say, UFC lightweight champion, depending on who you are. Or light heavyweight champion. I always say that. Absolutely. Light, light heavyweight. I guess you could call him a light heavyweight champion. He and Santos, co-champions. <laughs> Gegard Musazi, uh, Yoel Romero, Luke Rockhold. Those are some pretty tough fights, and he lost all of those by knockout. Um, so it's just – it's tough to say, man. Do, what do you value? I, I, and I'm interested. I'm going to start off Zach's talk here. But first, I'll mention the calculator. I did not do that. 64.0% uh, chance for Akhmedov to win this one. The underdog, as I will also mention, and – it is at a 53.5% chance to win by KO. And I don't think that's so much because of uh, uh, Akhmedov. I think it's more so just because of vulnerability we've seen out of Weidman. So I will lead Zach's whole rant off with this question. What do you trust more? The striking and the ability to win of Chris Weidman or the chin of Chris Weidman? What do you, what do you, what do you think is the factor here? Well, I didn't think we'd have a disagreement, but here we are. <laughs> Here we are. All right. So I was on the fence about this one for a little bit. And going into this, I thought I was going to pick Akhmedov as well. It just kind of seems to be the trendy thing nowadays to pick against Chris Weidman. And okay, that's fair. You just, just look at just, let's just look at the competition. All right. Dominic Reyes, light heavyweight champion. Jacare Souza. Just no words. I won't get into it. Kelvin Gastelum. Gegar Musasi. That fight is a little weird. That knee, you could consider it illegal. That's, that's a weird one, the Gegar Musasi loss. Yoel Romero and Luke Rockhold. Saying uh, Omari Akhmedov's a step down isn't even half of it, dude. It's, it's not even, like, saying it a lot. Like, Omari Akhmedov, right? He, he used to be a welterweight. He was a good welterweight, and now he's come up to middleweight, and his three fights have been Zach Cummings. So that, and it, that's not in order, but, uh, okay. Tim Bosch, retired, right? He's, I don't think he fights anymore. Zach Cummings. And then Ian Heinish. Okay. You know, he beat Ian Heinish. That's kind of impressive. But I didn't I wasn't really impressed by it. He started to gas out in round three, and Ian Heinish was close to taking that fight over. And the thing is, in order for Omar Yakhmedov to win this fight, he has to knock out Chris Weidman. He can't take him to the decision because what does Chris Weidman do so so well? I'll let you answer this. What does he do so so well? The decisions, I'm guessing, I'm guessing you're gonna say. I'm just going to – no, I was going to say the wrestling. Okay, yeah, fair Chris enough. Chris yeah. Weidman's wrestling, some of, if not the best, in middleweight history. So, so good with those takedowns. He's just legitimately a takedown machine. 
And that's the thing. He's going to be so much stronger than Omari Akhmedov. Yeah, maybe his chin is not going to be the same way. No, no, sure. But the thing is, with his physical strength and wrestling prowess, I believe he can hold Omari Akhmedov down on the floor as long as he wants to. Omari Akhmedov has really never faced a guy that's going to take him down and hold him down the same way that Chris Weidman will do. Because, man, Chris Weidman, when he gets you on his back, when you're on your back against Chris Weidman, that's not a place you want to be at all. And the thing with Omar Yakhmedov, he has to knock out Chris Weidman. And yes, his chin is not what he used to be. But, yeah, he got knocked out. But let's just, let's just discount Dominic Reyes because that's Dominic Reyes and going up a division, right? And that fight was long enough ago. I think his chin is a little bit of time to recover. And he was taking bombs against Jacare. He was taking absolute bombs until the one that eventually finished him. Oh, man. Love that fight. One of my favorite fights ever as a diehard Jacare Souza fan. <laughs> but, and he, he's always, he's never really been demolished before uh, Dominic Reyes before. He was having a very competitive fight with Yo Romero. Very competitive. Uh, okay, Luke Rockhold, I guess, kind of demolished him. But if it wasn't for that spinning back kick, who knows? But yeah, I, I don't think Omar Yakmanov, with his uh, experience being a welterweight, I don't, and he doesn't have as many KOs on his record in the UFC, I believe. I don't think he has the power needed in order to knock out Chris Weidman. And that was the revelation I had that made me switch my pick from Akhmedov to Weidman. I don't think he can. And if you think about it, how much will Chris Weidman realistically stand up with Omar Akhmedov? I think he's going to try to use his wrestling right away. We saw him try to use his wrestling right away against Dominic Reyes. He was able to take him down, albeit not for very long, but he was still able to take him down. No, it was a decent shot with Wyman and Reyes. So, I got Chris play. Wyman winning a 30-27 decision, and then I'm going to pick against him in his next fight probably. <laughs> <laughs> well, so we got a disagreement. Uh, I want to know what you guys think. Let, let us know who you agree with here. Uh, I'll be taking the underdog in this one. Just to touch on it a little bit further, you mentioned you mentioned that you don't think uh, Akhmedov is able to knock out uh, Weidman here. Talking about talking about Weidman here, looking at Akhmedov, Akhmedov has only ever been finished. So, do you trust that that Weidman is able to to get a decision win over Akhmedov? Um, it, I don't know, man. It, it's it's t- it's tough it's, to say. I think I Ahmedov's think looking cardio at cardio is bad, dude. His cardio is bad. Yeah, I, that's the thing, and and just looking at these at these fights, it's there's so many factors of where people are very very vulnerable, and where people are very very good, and where those match up in a way, which I think definitely foreshadows the main event of the evening. If you guys haven't checked it out yet, it's probably out. So make sure you guys go check it out. Really, really excited to talk about that. We've we've done a, we've been really, really excited to talk about most of these. And I think one thing that I've noticed throughout talking about these is there are a lot of those matchups where those people are vulnerable in some areas and very good in some and very good in some areas, um, and how those match up. So this will be a this will be a card that I'm really excited to just sit down and watch it and be able to pick it apart after the fights. So really, really excited for this one. I, I hope you guys are as well. And make sure you guys let us know what you guys think in the comments. You got to break the tie. You got to show your support. Make sure you guys are throwing a like on the video and subscribing to the channel because we do these fight picks every week. Really excited. Make sure you guys check out the other fight pick videos. Really excited again. See you in the next video.